Hi, what is up YouTube? HBJ here, and good day to you all. Today, we are going to be making a look at the latest information from Hustles and Dragons, as another monster, exchange monster, will be joining the lineup next month. So, for the new year, we have Sakura Dragon, or Sayuka Dragon. I, I constantly pronounce her correctly, so I do apologize. But yes, she will be joining the monster, yeah, Sayuka Origin. Or Kyren, or yeah, is it? Oh, Kirin Sakuya Origin. She will be joining in January. And this is a crazy thing. Normally, we would get two monsters for this monster change. But what they're doing is they're going to split these two apart. We're going to have Bayako Haku Tiger and uh, Kyren Sakuya Origin. Both joining the monster exchange, but one will come before the other. So Sakuya will be in, will be in January, and Haku will be in February. They don't have a picture of Haku yet, but they will uh, once January gets to its end, and then they will drop the information you need to know. But if you want to know now, you can just visit the Japanese servers, and I'll tell you what material you need to farm for net for February in order to make sure you have everything for ha Haku when you want to monster exchange her for her. Her latest evolution. Now, in addition to this, January and February will have the return of several monsters for the monster exchange. Uh, that if you have not already gotten them, this is your chance to get them for another huge rotation. So, in the month of January, you will be able to get Hades Dragon, Kyron Dragon, Amaterasu Dragon, Meme Turtle, Metal Hamal, um, Gilgamesh Kerr, and Metal L. Arachia or Aricha. Then for the month of February, you'll be able to get Metal um, Antares, Leyland Pheasant, Metal Mstaka, Inkiru Kerr, um, Alitu Kerr, Metal Pollux, and Metal Incubin. So those are the lineups between January and February of what monsters will be available for the monster exchange. And the dungeons will correspondingly be throughout that month. Um, if you have pad pass, you'll be able to pay for those dungeons to stay for the entire month so you can find the material for them. If anything, if you guys have the material for those cards, please trade them with other people, especially your friends, who maybe they just don't have the time or the opportunity to obtain these on their own. So if you have any extra material like the pit, like the fed, like for instance, uh, if anyone's watching this video, I'm looking for the phoenixes so I can make my um, Leyland pheasant so that Leyland pheasant can be on the team with uh, well on the fire teams that are currently doing extremely well right now. But if you don't have that, hence there is a dungeon going on at the time of recording that you can farm for the Phoenix, and I believe there is a couple of dungeons in the technical um, slot that you can easily go and defeat. Now, with that said and done, those are just some prime examples. Uh, before I go any further, yeah, just make sure that if you guys have extra and your friends are looking for the extra, let them know their discourse and everything for that. Now, let's move on to Sakuya Origin. Sakuya Origin needs super reincarnated Sakuya to emit metal black by glimmering Kaiyurin Emperor uh, Fugen, then 10 Mythic Mass and 30 Dragon Seed. Now, you can easily get Fang Fong. Uh, Incarnation of Kai, Yu, Kai Ryu Fong from the technical dungeon Paradise of the Holy Beast. This is by far probably the easiest way. You can not only farm the mystical masks that are there, but you can also farm uh, Fong from that dungeon. And I've already gotten like six Fong, so no, ten Fong, because I'm going to be using Fong for both Sakuya Origin's uh, main card and its evolution. Uh, the Mystical Mask, of course, you can find on the weekday dungeons for Wednesday, the uh, expert mode for the mask, room of mask. And the Dragon Seeds are actually on all the floors for the Thursday dungeon, so you can easily farm them. But the best way to farm them is, of course, the first floor, which is the intent floor for uh, Tuesday, for Thursday's dungeon. Now, with that said, let's talk about Sakuya Origin. Sakuya Origin is God Dragon type. Um, she is light water and she comes with super gravity voice 
uh, awakening, two super four com- four attribute combo awakenings, one super immobilized, two super steel boost, one super bond resist, and one skill bind resist. Now, um, for her active skill, she has Kyron's advance. 30 times attack and actually reduces enemies with four plus combos when fire, water, wood, and light attack at once. 1.1 times HP for God type. For her active skill, she has Karen Origin Gleam at a max turn of six. All of the allied skills charged by two um, and reduces enemy damage, uh, reduces enemy damage and remaining HP by 20%. This skill then evolves into Chiron 4 Origin Gallop, which is uh, th- increases the this any increases this ally damage cap by seven billion for one turn. Remove all locks and then changes orgs to fire, water, wood, light, and hearts. For her super awakening, she uses a super skill boost, a super bind blind resist, and a, a guard break. Now for her weapon assist. Saku, uh, Karen Sakuya Origins Earring. Uh, it is God typing like attributes with uh, four times skill, four times skill, four times uh, four attribute awakening uh, equipped with two team HP buffs and one skill boost. For the active skill, Karen is bestowing to dance. For Gleam, it is an enemy's HP by 30%, unlocks all orbs, and then changes orbs to water, fire, water, uh, fire, water, wood, light, and heat, and heal. So this is actually a really good thing because original Sakya does not have a orb change. The only Sakya that has an orb change, to my knowledge, are the Sakya that come from special events or the Sakya that is from, that is an evolution of from what is it? Oh, the um, story mode is a game. So, this is a nice inclusion to it because I've always felt Sakia definitely needed a board change since, you know, she was the only one out of the group that didn't get a board change. It's very odd. And I was glad that her uh, advanced form from the story mode did get a, uh, a, not a chapter, well, it did get a chapter, but uh, it got a evolution that does board change and still does the whole reductions and this and that. Sakia as a leader, it she'll she scares me because there is one issue that she doesn't have and that's literally she has no way to correspond the resolve facts of a lot of dungeons, which means you have to tag someone on the team or a pair up with a leader that has a resolve and a way to answer the resolve. If they have a follow up attack or a built in follow attack and their leader skill. This would not scare me as much, but it scares me because Sakuya um, does not have one in her own kit. So I'm most likely going to be using Sakuya as a sub, which I feel like she'd be a great sub. Um, two, tar- two turns of haste reduces enemies' HP by 20%, which is great because you can get through some gravity, and then getting a full board unlock and board change to water, fire, wood, light, and heal, which is really good corresponding with Sakuya because, of course, that's the four main attributes of each of the characters in the series. Um, Leilin, Haku, Mene, well, except for Haku, because Haku is purple. Um, she would be dark orbs. There isn't any dark orbs being generated by Sakuya, but Haku herself is dual attribute, so this actually would play out in her effect. Um, for things, unless you're playing like regular Hawking, then regular Haku wouldn't have much. I think only reincarnated, awoken, and maybe tiger, and then like all the other various forms that aren't pure dark would benefit from the fact that they're dual attributes, so they would get some damage. But yeah, this is a really good lineup for her overall. I think she has a really amazing skill, especially on rainbow teams. Um, her awakenings are not too bad. Her weapon assist is actually really good. Because it's team, two team HP, uh, four attribute attack up in the skill boost, which is going to be good. And not to mention her active skill of four gleams, which basically is a reduce your opponent's remaining HP at 30%, then unlock your opponent's, then unlock the board and give the board change everything but uh, dark orbs, which will be perfectly well. So, yeah, I think this is a good monster. I think this is going to be a great. Sub because I don't really think no one 
I don't think he's going to be really much of a help or factor for a leader skill. Unless something in Final Fantasy changes this. Because, yes, the Final Fantasy collab is coming back, and I will be doing a video for the Final Fantasy collab. But for the most part, yeah. This is basically just Kyrie, um origin. There are some upgrades to her various forms. Uh, so when we're incarnated, uh, Sakuya got changes, uh, as well as her active skill in her leader skill. Um, she's got two more additional awakenings, which is not bad. Uh, world shaping spear Kyron Sakuya. This is, of course, her story mode uh, weapon assist. Uh, not too bad. She, oh, she's getting a cross. She's getting an L. She's getting super time machine, super skill boost. Oh, this is good for her. Um, and then her, oh, her active skill is changing. Uh, twin skies with those dams, which now reduces the enemy's HP by 20 percent fully recovers um unmatchable and awoken binds unlocks orbs and changes them to all five, all five attributes plus heart orbs and yeah that's not bad and then when water fire wood light attack at once six million damage will be inflicted in damage reduction by 77 percent so cool that's really good for her um there are of course the exchanges for things uh for the other monsters that are in the lineup so haki may may so karen may may um it's like kyren may may haiti um amatarasu aries um gilgamesh uh will all be here and there's availability for some of these monsters like gilgamesh's dungeon um dungeons that will be here to help you with uh getting pisces uh evolution ready so yeah i think it's kind of unfair though because you don't see these for oh i say you go to ex2 the legendary ground for the mechanical star and then you have to do all of this extra stuff for um oh because there's two areas you can complete the impossible four on a normal dungeon uh for three nine or you can go to any of these dungeons that have the Gaia dragon so if you have the chance i guess the only thing i can really tell you is just to go and farm these things as soon as you possibly can but it's a lot of them yeah and luckily I mean, the only one that i really need is Leyland pheasant and i have enough time to get uh, the monster for Leyland pheasant so i should be fine but yeah this is basically it for Kyron dragon let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Kyron. i mean Kyron or kai Green origin, not Kyren, Kyren origin, and what do you think of her as a full on utility uh, for rainbow teams or just the teams that focus on those attributes? Let me know all that in the comment section below. And with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out tremendously. You hit the notification bell to be informed when I upload more content to the channel. Socials are in the description box below. And with that said, HGA signing out. Take care.